This weekend, the SAVE movement held a vigil outside of JBS, one of the largest slaughterhouses in the country. Behind these walls, they slaughter up to 30,000 cows a day. The idea behind these vigils is to honor the billions of animals we murder needlessly every year and to be there for them. It is so important to bear witness to these atrocities whenever we can, because seeing these animals roll in on crowded trucks, terrified and standing in their own feces, really fuels the fire inside of you to help them. It can be a very emotional experience, especially if you get a chance to look into their eyes. In peace and justice and love and compassion, we stand here today to disrupt this horrific violence that normalized and accepted in our society. Nothing but grass dogs. They feel, they love, they fear. They're mammals just like humans. Absolutely. We are all the same in the ways that matter. We stand here in love, but we also stand here in justice. We stand against oppression. We stand against normalized violence. We stand against tarnished ideologies that are embedded in institutions and systemic problems, since systemic violence that is normalized and accepted in society. And this is one of the greatest perpetrators of that violence known to human crime and all crime. Does a good job you like it? Yeah, well, I was planning to go back to school, but uh, hey, this company, they pay good money. They pay good money and uh, they help uh, a lot of people who don't know English. This company, they help. So when you come here, no speaking English, you go to Walmart, they don't hire you. Yeah. In super, you, speak, you, you have to use body languages. Yeah. 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 No language, yeah. Yeah. good. Of course. They hire you. Yeah. So, um, and then here we have a lot of families. We have a lot of uh, people who are responsible. People are responsible. Look, look at this bus. More than uh, 3,000 people, they work here at GBS. So, a lot of people depend, a lot of families. Not only here, in Africa, in Asia, Canada, Europe, they depend on people who work here. Does that make the work okay? So, we don't have just to blame this company. No, this company no, is, no, no, we don't have to blame. So, the problem is, we have to go to ask these people who work here because what they, they look after, it's just take care of their families. You know, it's the system, right? We're, we're not mad at the workers. We have compassion for you. We understand that you have family. But honestly, we see you as a victim as well. We do. I mean, this is, this is the... Between 
human being and animals. Animals, they don't have spirits. The only difference is your perspective. Yeah. Unfortunately, the audio cut out here, but we talked to this guy for like a good 15 minutes. One question someone asked him is if he would want his children to work for JBS. And he was like, absolutely not. <laughs> so obviously the pay is enticing to people in extremely desperate situations, but it is incredibly gruesome and draining work. Due to the high pressure to meet demands, it gets pretty dangerous. If you notice his bandage on his hand, uh, we asked him and this was a work-related injury. Despite the praises he was singing to JBS earlier, it was clear that he did not want to be working there. We offered to help him find another job, and although he was pretty incredulous that there could be other opportunities for him, he seemed interested in accepting help. So it is my hope that he will be free from this hellhole in the near future. I just wanted to read a short passage that Martin Luther King said in his last sermon before he was assassinated about his struggle. The struggle is always there. It gets discouraging sometimes. It gets very disenchanting sometimes. Some of us are trying to build a temple of peace. We speak out against war, we protest, but it seems your head is going against a concrete wall. It seems to mean nothing. And so often you set out to build the temple of peace and you are left lonesome. You are left discouraged. You are left bewildered. Well, that is the story of life. And the thing that makes me happy is that I can hear a voice crying through the vista of time saying, it may not come today, or it may not come tomorrow, but it is well within thine heart. It is well that you are trying. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. So why did you quit? Why did I quit? Line of work just wasn't for me. I don't want to stay there forever. It takes a certain person to work there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Yo, how when me eat them, I wonder when me eat them. When me tell them, say me not eat no fish, no, no meat now. How when me eat them, I wonder when me yum. When me tell them, say that I'm a vegan, man. How when me eat them, I wonder when me eat them. When me tell them, say me not eat no fish, no, no meat now.